Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Thank you to Sephora for sponsoring today's video. You asked, so I deliver. We are gonna be doing luxurious, sexy, delicious scents for the winter. I have an entire array of fragrances for all different types of girlies today. Whether you're into vanillas or spicy or gourmand or sweet, I have something for everyone today and I have a lot of day and night scents. So I am going to be showing you guys like my top favorite, most reached for, and most complimented fragrances this season. I partnered today with Sephora and Magic Links to show you guys all of the fragrances that I have owned either in my collection for some time or new things that I got, but they are all purchased from Sephora. So they are amazing, you guys will love them. And what's so special about today's collaboration with Sephora is that I'm here to promote their fragrance for all event where they have 20% off full size fragrances up until December 24th. So please use this time to shop either online or in stores and use the code fragrance20 to redeem your discount and be able to get your fragrances for the holiday season for a discount. They are definitely gonna leave a mark on whoever gets the privilege of smelling you. All right, let's just get into it. I have a lot to share, I have a lot to show. So let's just get into the fragrances. Okay, the first fragrance I have here is the Pistachio Gelato Scent from Kaoli. Guys, I was not expecting this. This was actually a blind buy and I said, you know what, just go for it, Haley. I feel like it has good vibes and I was not let down. This fragrance in itself just smells so unique and different from anything that I own in my collection. It's definitely a part of the warm and spicy family. So it's kind of giving just like really good cozy vibes with like a little hint of sweetness. It's warm and it has sweet gourmand fragrance to it. I'm a gourmand girly. I just love anything that's just very like sexy and sensual and luxurious. And this is very much giving that. The keynotes are pistachio gelato, cotton candy, and whipped cream. I know it sounds extra sweet, but I promise you it is the perfect type of sweet. It's almost like a hint of sweet. And what I love about this is this is a day and night fragrance. I would not mind wearing this in the daytime. It's definitely strong and beautiful, but subtle enough, but still strong enough to bring into the evening. So I love this. You guys know I'm a fragrance mixer, but this on its own is just so unique and beautiful. And I really love the Kayali fragrances because they are definitely a little bit more affordable than the average fragrance on the market. And I love how strong and unique they really are. Okay, next up we have the the Kayali Vanilla Royale, and this is the sugared patchouli one. This is just insane. I don't know what it is about this fragrance that I love, but it's giving grown woman. It's giving the perfect amount of vanilla with definitely a hint of sexy and sensual. The fragrance family is warm and spicy. It's definitely giving warm and spicy. It's perfect for if you have Christmas dinner or any type of holiday party that you want to go to and you want to make a statement. The keynotes are golden rum, vanilla, and sugared patchouli. And when I tell you the patchouli really is is intense in the sexiest of ways. Like, I don't know what it is, guys, but it's the perfect combination of vanilla and patchouli. I am a huge patchouli, gourmand, warm and spicy kind of girl. I'm honestly really not much of a vanilla girl, so I wasn't sure how I was gonna like this, but when I tell you the vanilla is soft, it's subtle and it's beautiful, but all of my vanilla girlies will still love it. So this is definitely another unique fragrance. And what I love about Kayali is it's giving, definitely smelled that before, but not as unique. So it still has its own unique scent that is just special. And everybody is definitely gonna be turning ahead smelling you with this. And just look at how gorgeous the bottle is. Like this is just the most beautiful, stunning packaging that the Kayali comes in. And it's the perfect gift to get some Somebody for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa. Honestly, anybody would love this. Okay, next up is something super random, but I think that a lot of my girlies who are fragrance collectors will like this. And I have talked about this in previous fragrance videos because it's something that I constantly reach for and it's the Jill Malone Scarlet Poppy. And on Sephora website, they have the Scarlet Poppy Intense, which is incredible. The fragrance notes are definitely very unique. They are ambrette, scarlet poppy, and tonka bean. It's definitely a part of the floral family, but I just love how beautiful this smells. Honestly, guys, it kind of gives off a little bit of a cherry scent. I don't know what it is, but it's just so gorgeous, and I really never smell this on other people. Like, I've never went out of the house and smelled 
Scarlet Poppy on another person. So this is something unique you can add to your collection, but it's a luxurious floral that has a hint of gourmand in it. So it's definitely unique. The Tonka bean is really making it luxurious and beautiful. And it's just a very specific niche style fragrance that's good for all of my floral girlies who don't want to smell too youthful and young and want a more grown elevated scent. It's definitely a very addictive scent and I reach for this maybe three times a week. I really love it that much. And I will wear it in day or night. It really doesn't matter. And you guys know me, I'm a fragrance mixer so I do tend to like this with possibly like an MFK Baccarat or even a Grand Soir it's just so beautiful together okay this is my second bottle of this because I am that obsessed I honestly probably should have just gotten the bigger one but this is the YSL Libre Intense this one right here It brings me back, okay? The days when I was wearing this, child. I mean, I wanna say it was like two years ago, I was having my fun, okay? It is so sexy. It's a night on the town scent. It's giving unforgettable. It's giving luxurious. It is just so beautiful and perfect for the winter time. When I tell you the second I spray this, I transform into a legit vixen. I'm obsessed. Definitely more of an evening style scent. I would not wear this in the daytime. Of course you can, but it's just kind of more seductive and it gives dark nights, like very candle lit dinner vibe. It is just such a, so, oh my God, I can't. Like every time I sniff it, I'm like, this is the most beautiful fragrance. Like I really do love this. And every time I hear people say that they don't like Libre, I'm like, have you smelled the intense? Cause it's just so good. And I think that maybe you might not like it at first, just kind of smelling it, but it really settles differently on different skin. So of course you gotta let it kind of marinate and just do its thing. And everybody's body chemistry is different and pheromones is different. But with my pheromones, it's giving sexy vixen. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm ready to take on the town. So I really do love this for that. And it's just very beautiful. Okay, next up we have Black Opium by YSL. I have owned this fragrance for the longest of times. And honestly, guys, I was not reaching for it. And I remember my mom gifted this to me a few years back and I am obsessed with it again. It is just so unique. I don't know why I wasn't reaching for it. Perfect winter scent. It's kind of a day and night fragrance, I would 100% say. Let me read you guys the keynotes. It has black coffee in it, white florals, and vanilla. It's definitely a part of the warm and spicy family. And the scent type is warm and sweet gourmand, which you guys know, like I said, I love gourmand fragrances. It's just a very beautiful scent. It kind of smells like, in my opinion, like a sweet wine mixed with a perfume. Like if you want to wear wine on the body with a little bit of just more of like a spicy vibe, this is giving very much that. At least that's the smell that I have. And it kind of brings me into a beautiful silky black dress, a minimal jewelry, going on a date night, perfect for that. And another great mixing fragrance, but standing on its own is also really amazing and super strong. Definitely a lot of these fragrances are very long lasting, which is why I usually tend to reach for them more. But this right here is definitely super long lasting, so I love it. Okay, next up we have Replica Coffee Break. I love this scent it's so freaking good this might be one of my favorite replica scents of all time it's strong it's long lasting it's just the perfect sexy fragrance i like to wear this in the daytime and the nighttime and at night if i wear this i like to mix it with something even more intense to really create like an ultimate beautiful aroma but this is the fragrance family of warm and spicy so it's just very i mean i'm mixing my fragrances today but it's just it's very beautiful. Like I really do love this fragrance. If I were to mix this, I would do it with a more sweeter fragrance, but it has a nice, warm, sexy, sultry vibe to it. It's of course another sweet gourmand fragrance, which again, you guys know I love gourmands. I just feel like it's a very cozy fragrance. It kind of reminds me of wearing like a big sweater. What also I found out was that there is a light scent of fresh spearmint and lavender in this. The blends together are chef's kiss, lavender, spearmint, coffee. It's just so beautiful and amazing. And it kind of gives a sweet treat with a hint of fresh garden. Very odd combination, but really actually does the body wonders. And it really blends nicely with the pheromones of the skin. Okay, this is a new scent in my collection and I have been loving it. It's the Chris Collins Lost in Paradise fragrance. What I love about this is you know how people will say like, oh, it's Christmas in July. Well, it's like reverse. It's 
July in Christmas time. It is just the most beautiful, coconutty, beachy, fresh fragrance. And for all of my people who hate that holiday, like spicy, weird, evergreen type of smells during the winter time, well, this is for you because it's giving fresh, it's giving floral, it's giving coconut, it's giving beach. It is so pretty. I just love it. So the keynotes are coconut water, peach skin, and salted musk. The hint of musk is definitely there. You can really smell it. And this is a black owned brand, by the way, which is absolutely incredible. Really, they paid attention to detail in making this bottle. Like this bottle is just so luxurious, so beautiful. I love the coconutty paradise smell. And I will wear this on a day to day. There's not a day that goes by that coconut doesn't smell good. I don't care if it's winter, if it's fall, if it's spring, if it's summer, you are going to love anything that's giving fresh beach. And it just reminds you of booking that vacation as soon as you can. And before the Fenty Beauty brand was launched, this apparently was Rihanna's favorite perfume. And I bought it as soon as I heard that. And I do reach for it almost every single winter. And it's the Killian Love Don't Be Shy. It's not for everyone, but if you like that marshmallow sweet type of scent, you are going to love this. It mixes so well with my skin, baby. When I put this on, I always get the most compliments. It's super strong and it's very long lasting. I love this because it's definitely a floral, but the marshmallow kind of makes it just like very sweet and sexy. So the keynotes are orange blossom, vanilla absolute, and luscious marshmallow. So freaking good. Definitely a warm floral. Can be worn day or night. I prefer wearing this at nighttime. I love it. It's strong. It's long lasting. It's Rihanna's signature fragrance and it smells very good mixed with other things as well. I like to mix this with either vanilla smelling perfumes or even really strong musks or gourmands. It's just a very beautiful fragrance, but it on its own is insane already. So definitely invest in Killian Love. Don't be shy. If you like to be a little bit of a daredevil with your fragrances and want to smell sweet, but sexy and grown all at the same time. Okay guys, and that is my amazing perfume collection that I am reaching for the most this winter season. It's sexy, it's luscious, it's opulent, it's classy, and it really is a memorable fragrance. If you wanna stick out and stand out in a crowd and you want people to remember your fragrance, these are definitely great starters and they're perfect seasonally. I also think some of them can be interchanged throughout the seasons, which is also great, so definitely worth the investment, but let me know which one you guys end up picking up down below. I cannot wait to hear. And I am just obsessed. I really cannot even pick which one is my favorite because they all have been equally as important in my routine recently. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.